Hello, good morning. How are you all? Welcome to you to my English speaking class. I hope you are practicing well at home. Now, while speaking English, we use many figures of speech or poetic device also we call it. Just I am introducing some of them. No doubt while speaking for you, no need that you should know whether it is simile or whether it is metaphor, whatever. Only the usages, how we use it. For example, many times we compare the things. For example, we say, she works like a lion. How she works? Like a lion. Then we call it simile because two things are compared with the word like. And the same thing if I say she is a lion in the work, then it becomes metaphor. See, so easy it is. Hmm? He fought like a lion. Then it is simile. If I say he was a lion in the fight, then it is metaphor. For example, we say the camel is the sheep of the desert. We use the word many times. Camel is the sheep of the desert then it is metaphor. If you use the word like, then it becomes a simile. Otherwise, if you said the one thing as the other without use of like, as or anything, then it is the metaphor. Next is personification. Personification we use many times. If you are having a beautiful garden in your, in front of your house, you say, the flowers smile at me. The sun smiles. Now tell me whether smiling quality is a human quality. We human beings can smile. We can talk. But when this quality is given to other things, then it is called personification, personified. There the flowers are personified. Can flowers talk to you? No. But you say the flowers are talking to me. Or the sun was smiling at me. So, it is called as personification. Then, alliteration. Alliteration means the same sound is used. For example, Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter was bitter. So, Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. Which sound is repeated here? Sound B. In the same way, she sells seashells on the seashore. I am sure the seashells she sells are not sure seashells of that seashore. Sound SH is repeated. So when the sound is repeated, it is called alliteration. If you want to copy it, I am telling you. Slowly. Betty bought a bit of butter, but the butter was bitter. So Betty bought better butter to make the bitter butter better. This is called as alliteration. And why we use all these figures of speech? 
they make the language beautiful that is why we use it then we are having climax climax means you are knowing as we go 1 2 3 4 5 6 climax he came he saw he conquered he came he saw he conquered see how ideas are arranged ideas are arranged in an ascending order birds animals men and angels worshiping god when the ideas are arranged in an ascending order ascending means you are knowing going ahead descending means coming down then it is called climax in the same way anti climax means opposite of it see 1 2 3 4 5 6 it is climax if i say 10 9 8 7 6 5 then it is anti climax just the opposite of climax then we are having inversion inversion means world order is changed sweet are the uses of adversity great was the joy in every heart so world order is changed for example i passed a lonely way whether the lone way was lonely road was lonely no i was lonely but here the words have been order has been changed and hyperbole hyperbole is the one which we use many times hyperbole means exaggeration she runs faster than the wind now tell me is it possible for anyone to run faster than the wind no many times we say that there are so many people for the function there was no place even to throw a mustard mustard seed you are knowing even that much space was not there so that is hyperbole and repetition means words are repeated see alliteration means sound is repeated repetition means words are repeated my love is like a red red rose little lamb little ra- lamb where are you so little lamb little lamb it is repeated my love is like a red red rose so here the words are repeated when words are repeated it is repetition when only sound is repeated it is alliteration irony irony many times we use it in day to day life if someone is very late then you say oh so early you came it is the opposite way of talking then you are having interrogation interrogation means question the rest all we are not using in day to day life i have told you all these figures of speeches or poetic devices which we are using in our day to day speech in our day to day speech we use it why to make the language beautiful as i told you irony if someone works very slow you say she works so fast like lightning as i told you if someone is very very late you say oh you have come so early so these words we use in day to day it is called irony irony means opposite way of speaking 
So all these figures of speech are poetic device. We use in day to day life. Why? To make the language beautiful. Because of the use of these figures of speech, our language becomes beautiful. Acha, have a good day.